nobody feels any pain Tonight as I stand inside the rain Everybody knows that baby's got new clothes But lately I see her rivers and her bows have fallen from her curls She takes just like a woman And she makes love just like a woman And she aches just like a woman But she breaks just like a little girl Queen Mary, she's my friend Yes, I believe that I'll go see her again Nobody has to guess That baby can't be blessed Till she finally sees that She's like all the rest With her fog, her amphetamines and her pearls Just like a woman And she makes love Just like a woman Then she aches Just like a woman But she breaks just like a little girl It was raining from the first and I was dying there first, so I came in here And your long time curse hurts But what's worse is this pain in here I can't stay in here Ain't it clear that I just don't fit Yes, I believe it is time for us to quit When we meet again Introduced as friends Please don't let on That you knew me when I was so hungry And it was your world Ah, you fake Just like a woman and you make love just like a woman Then you ache just like a woman But you break just like a little girl Viva Bob Dylan I'd like to know about the, the meaning of the photograph with you and the wearing of triumph T-shirt? What did you know about it? Well, I'd like to know that that's an equivalent photograph. It means something. It's got a philosophy in it. And I'd, like to know, <laughs> I'd like to know visually what it represents to you, because you're a part of that. Um, I haven't really looked at it that much. I don't really even... I've thought about it a great deal. I, it was just taken one day when I was sitting on the steps, you know. I, I don't, uh, I don't really remember any very too much about it. Well, what about the motorcycle as an image in your in your songwriting? You seem to like that. Oh, we all like motorcycles to some degree. I do. Do you think of yourself primarily as a singer or as a poet? Oh, I think of myself more as a song and dance man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What? Song and dance man. In a lot of your songs, you're hard on a lot of people. Like uh, in Like a Rolling Stone, you're pretty hard on the girl. And in Positively Forced, you're pretty hard on the supposed friend. Are you hard on them because you want to torment them or because you want to change their lives and make them know themselves? I want to needle them. <laughs> What do you think of 
people that analyze your songs? Do they usually end up with the same oh, meaning that you I, wrote? Or? I welcome them <laughs> <laughs> with open arms. <laughs> Mr. Dillon, I know you uh, dislike labels and probably rightly so, but uh, for those, those of us who are well over 30, could you uh, label yourself and perhaps uh, tell us what your role is? Well, I sort of label myself as well under 30. <laughs> um, and my role is to, uh, you know, to just uh, stay here as long as I can. <laughs> You're considered by many people to be symbolic of the protest movement in the country for the young people. Um, are you going to participate in the Vietnam Day Committee demonstration in front of the Fairmont Hotel tonight? I'll be busy tonight. <laughs> Do you prefer songs with a subtle or obvious message? With a what? A subtle or obvious message. Uh, I don't really prefer those kind of songs at all. A message, you mean like, what song with a message? Well, like Eve of Destruction and things like that. Do I prefer that to what? I don't know, but your songs are supposed to have a subtle <coughs> message. A subtle message? <laughs> well, they're supposed to. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? <laughs> In a movie magazine. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. Where is Desolation Row? Where? Yeah. Oh, that's someplace in Mexico. It's uh, across the border. <laughs> it's it's noted for its Coke factory. <laughs> Coca-Cola machines are sells sell a lot of Coca-Cola down there. Mr. Dillon, you seem very reluctant to talk about the fact that you're a popular entertainer and you're a most popular uh, entertainer. Well, what do you want me to say? Well, I don't understand why you uh, well, what are What do you want me to say? To, you uh, want to say uh, who, who, what do you want me to say about it? Well, you seem to, almost embarrassed to admit that you're to talk about Well, I'm not embarrassed. I mean, you know, uh, what do you want exactly me to say? You want me to jump up and say hallelujah and crash the cameras and do something weird? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. I'll, I'll go along with you. If I can't go along with you, I'll find somebody to go along with you.